go. Oh, ho, ho. Eyes are up here. Uh huh. Hey everyone, did you know that the American Association of Nude Recreation states that it serves over 52 million individuals at over 180 affiliated clubs, resorts, RV campgrounds, and businesses? That's a pretty wild statistic, right? Well, have you considered uh, getting your all over tan on at a resort? Well, today we're diving into the top 10 things you absolutely should not do at a nudist resort so you can avoid any awkward moments and have a great time. But first, if you like what you see on the channel, I would like to ask you to like and subscribe. It's free for you and it helps us out greatly. We definitely appreciate your support. So if you're thinking about visiting a nudist resort for the first time, you're definitely in the right place. Knowing the don'ts is crucial to ensure that you have a respectful and enjoyable experience. So, so let's get into it and make sure you're fully prepared. So let's talk about some common mistakes that people make when visiting nudist resorts. Believe it or not, these little slip ups can really impact your experience from being overly self-conscious to not understanding the etiquette. First timers can easily feel out of place. Many people worry about how they'll be perceived or what to do if they've never been naked in public before. And if you're not aware of the unspoken rules, you know, it can lead to some pretty awkward situations. Let's face it, nobody wants to be that person who disrupts the vibe. So to help you out, we're gonna list out those key don'ts that'll help keep you in the clear. All right, let's dive into the 10 key don'ts of nudist resorts. One, don't stare. That seems obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people forget that rule. Everyone's there to relax, not to be scrutinized. Instead of staring, engage someone in conversation or admire the scenery. No, no, the other scenery. And two, don't touch. It might sound tempting, but personal space is vital. Keep your hands to yourself unless you really know someone and they've given you the green light. Three is don't take photos. This is a biggie. Many resorts have a strict no photo policy to protect everyone's privacy. It can also get you in trouble, get you ejected from the resort and maybe banned. So be careful. There are ways to get pictures taken. So talk to the resort staff and clear it with them prior. Ask, you know, before snapping a pic. And even then, think twice. Number four, don't wear your clothes in the pool. If you're at a nudist pool, you're usually expected to be nude. A lot of nudist venues prohibit wearing a swimsuit in the pool or hot tub area. And wearing a swimsuit can make others uncomfortable, so just let it go. Number five, don't be loud. Nobody wants their relaxation disrupted by a screaming conversation. Don't blast your music. It's one of those tips that apply in any destination, nude or otherwise. Number six, don't make assumptions. Just because someone is nude doesn't mean it's an invitation for flirtation. Respect everyone's boundaries and in the same vein, avoid engaging in overt sexual behavior. That's, you know, that's not what nudist resorts are about. And it could get you ejected or banned again. There are lifestyle resorts that cater to that sort of thing. So don't assume that all nudists are interested just because they're naked. Seven, don't forget sunscreen. This is a practical one. You might think you're used to being outside, but this is a whole new level. Apply sunscreen generously to avoid painful burns, especially in those areas that don't, you know, see the sun very often. Lobsters might be delicious, but you don't want to run around the resort looking like one. Uh, number eight, never make unsolicited comments about someone's body. This can be the verbal equivalent of being that staring creeper. You are very well endowed. Focus on the experience, not the appearance of others. Number nine, don't forget to follow the resort's specific rules. Every place has its own guidelines. Some have limited visitation times for single males. Others might enforce nudity around pools and hot tubs. Some have quiet hours. It doesn't hurt to research the resort you're about to visit to avoid any gotchas. And finally, number 10, here's the most basic. You definitely need to remember, don't forget to always bring a towel to sit on while you're naked. You definitely need to remember, don't forget to always bring a towel, always bring a towel to sit on while you're naked. While many places will furnish towels, it's always a good idea to, you know, have your own just in case. Never set your bare dairy air on anything but your towel or poolside or on the grass. Well, like you'd even want to do that. I don't know. Maybe you do. Who knows? Uh, every good nudist comes with their towel. Not sitting on your towel is the quickest way to let people know you're a newbie and might lead to some awkward comments. Now here's a bonus one. Don't forget to have fun. 
This might seem trivial, but don't take everything so seriously. Enjoy the experience, meet new people, and embrace the freedom. Just don't forget the etiquette. And there you have it. We've covered the top 10 nudist resort don'ts that will help you avoid those potentially awkward moments and make your visit, you know, enjoyable. So remember, respecting the space of the people around you is key to having a great time in the nude, huh? Now that you're armed with this knowledge, I wanna hear from you. Have you ever been to a nudist resort? Are you planning on going, huh? Share your experiences in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos on being all natural. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Oh, and don't forget the sunscreen.